Good evening. This is Rahul Magan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Tashi Consulting. As we speak, Tashi Consulting is a multinational headquartered group. We are a multinational and a multi asset hedge fund. By multinational, I mean we actively take positions in US, Europe, and Asia Pacific region. By multi asset, I mean we actively take positions in gold, silver, and many more asset classes. But, like I repeated many a times, that we are a proprietary hedge fund. By proprietary, I mean no third party. No third party can invest capital in our fund. This video is by our structured finance desk. I repeat, structured finance desk. Guys, I already told you in my YouTube video about the importance of special purpose entity. Structured finance is next to impossible without a finest construction of special purpose entity. But the unfortunate fact is that people not aware that how to create a special purpose entity. So in this video, I would like to give you a very perfect and very relevant example of 2022. Although time is a constraint, I cannot cover all tax havens like BVI, British Virgin Islands, Caribbean Islands, Isle of Man, Canberra, Singapore. You must be thinking Singapore. Singapore is a tax haven. On paper, they claim that they are very honest. They have a due diligence. They have a strict protocols in place. They have monetary authority of Singapore, one of the honest central banks of the world. The reality is Singapore is a tax heaven. In a very recently concluded financial secrecy index, financial secrecy index, do you know who is number one? Switzerland is not number one. Just check it out who is number one and check who is number three. So Singapore is a tax heaven. Remember that. You should know how to use Singapore as a tax haven. Anyways, majority of the times, the purpose of setting up of the SPV, SPE, special purpose entity is to issue EMTN, EMTN or GMTN. It depends upon the caliber of the company and also the location of the SPE. So EMTN stands Euro MTN and GMTN stands Global MTN. Euro MTN is predominantly for OECD investors while GMTN is for the globe. We have lots of people in the world, those who want GMTN, but there we have people, those who want EMTN. So very important thing which we need to learn here is that when we set up, I repeat, when we set up SPE, we first need to see whether it offers us EMTN Euro MTN or GMTN, Global MTN or none. 
there are multiple options which we have as far as the issuance of euro mtn is concerned multiple options if you are thinking we are having a single option then please correct yourself that's very important thing one of the mis biggest fraud we have as far as the spv is concerned is spe sorry spe is concerned special purpose entity do not mention whether they can issue 144a asset or they can issue non 144a asset section 144a securities and exchange commission united states act clearly mention that the foreign securities in which us based companies can invest or us investors can invest i cannot discuss the complete 144a in this video but having said that one thing which i can discuss is that spe special purpose entity should have a detailed description of 144a assets that is very important and another important thing let's compare the three tax havens singapore cayman island and netherlands simple you must be thinking that i used a word netherlands previously i used a word singapore now i used a word netherlands guys netherlands is a tax haven netherlands is a place where you will see oecd preferred i repeat oecd preferred spes are incorporated yeah i completely agree that the cost of setting spe the time consumptions of setting spe is relatively much much higher in netherlands as compared to cayman bvi and others i not said singapore remember so when i am setting up my spe i prefer to have cayman the reason being i don't need to have a foreign director in place i can easily get a local director number 2 there are many trust charitable institutions foundations and variety of institutions who always ready because they are in the data bank of the law firms there are many law firms operate in cayman but you know what i mean they are on the data bank of the of the of these law firms those who easily endorse your spe third there is no audited financials i need to produce in the public as far as my spe is concerned and number fourth and very important is the withholding tax because i am not talking about buying and selling of 1 million dollar i am talking about buying and selling of billions so even if 0.02% which is very small of withholding tax it would have a huge impact on the balance sheet structure of the spe but there is another beauty which i would like to highlight cayman island support both euro mtn and gmtn but there is a problem the problem is the documentation which you are doing at the time of signing when you are creating spe in the cayman island and here is the catch this is raul magan from treasury consulting group have a great time